it's coming, whether we want it or not, right? It, 5G is going to be here. The Idaho National Laboratory is working to make wireless communications more secure. It just opened the country's first 5G wireless test range. It's out in the desert, 50 miles west of Idaho Falls. Jude Binkley spoke with the INL about this range and how it could help keep our devices safe. Jude? Well, Morgan, 5G technology is the next generation of cellular communication. It's already been rolled out in some cities, including Boise. It's going to bring faster speeds and connect more devices together. The INL says doctors may even be able to use the technology for remote surgery soon. But with more devices connected, there are also more things that could be hacked or taken over. That's why Idaho's 5G test range is focusing on what can be done to keep those connections secure. As 5G rolls out and we use it to uh, help control uh, and operate things like our electric power grid, what does that look like? Well, I'd sure like it to be secure and, and we can rely on that. The Department of Energy has other ranges working on wireless communication, but Idaho's facility is focused on finding and solving security risks. Every device that gets added to the network could be an access point for hackers. We're probably the one lab that has this external range of this scale um, focused on looking at the security implications of 5G. You know, 5G is going to enable uh, darn near everything at some point, right? It may even help control uh, the settings on your refrigerator. The Department of Defense is using the range first for 5G communication at military bases for hospitals and vehicles. They'll look for security flaws. So we will take some of those mission use cases, if you were those um, experiments, and add to it, look for things that might, uh, maybe a bad actor might do or could do through a 5G network. The INL's testing network is separate from commercial networks like your cell service provider. They say that will help them look at things objectively. Uh, vendors, manufacturers are going to roll these 5G capabilities out. Can you trust them? Sometimes yes, maybe sometimes no. So where do you go to validate those in a unbiased way? I mean, we don't manufacture anything here. We're not in in with any manufacturer or producer. Now, 5G has already been added on top of 4G in some large cities, but experts say it'll take a few more years to be rolled out nationwide. The INL plans on branching out from their military partnership, and they plan on working with scientific organizations for 5G security. All right, Jude, thank you.